What do you do when life gets unbearable? Coming up next on Pastor Bob Daily. Well, I'm doing this podcast, well, mostly for a friend of mine named Kirk. And uh, he's a great guy. We've been friends for a while. And I love the guy a lot. And he has a continuing illness that keeps getting worse. Uh, Not only is it getting worse, but he's becoming more and more incapacitated because of it. And, um, you know, sometimes he just says, please just give me some encouragement. I need something. Man, I get that. And I think he's very brave, and I think he's, you know, done really well in following the Lord and looking to Jesus through the whole thing. But it's not easy. You know, I think of Job when I uh, think of this kind of situation. And Job said, you know, even if he slays me, I'll still follow him, but I sure don't understand what he's doing. And there are some times when Job, you can see he's getting a little, well, frustrated. And his friends come along to encourage him, but they're really no encouragement because what they have to say is more judgment than anything else. That's happening to my friend as well. And he loses everything. And you can imagine when someone's been out of work for a long time, they have a family to raise, and the finances are drained as well with my friend. And at the end of all of this, what do you say? Well, I wish I had some good words for my friend and anybody that's going through this today that would just make it all better. But I don't. I can encourage you, but my words would be hollow uh, because you've heard it before and you know it. And in the middle of a trial, folks, sometimes there there is very little that, well, that feels good. In the middle of a trial, my heart hurts. And sometimes in the middle of a trial, it's almost impossible for my heart to feel better. But that's not the point. The point is this, that I need to think from my head. I need to say, I know whom I have believed, who I have trusted. I know he's able to keep that which I have committed to him until that day. And I know that I know that I know that I'm going to get through this because he is faithful. That's a difficult thing. Even though it's difficult, it's true. And I know that's what my friend is doing as well. He's saying, I know that I'm trusting in the Lord, but I don't like what's going on with me. And for my friend and for those people that are going through this, I'm sorry you have to endure. And I'm sorry that your heart will probably continue to hurt for a while, because that can't go away. But I'm excited, very excited, that God never leaves us nor forsakes us even when we're going through difficult times. So be encouraged that when you're hurting, God's hurting. The Bible says that he he feels everything with us and his desire is for health. And, uh, you know, I'm so glad that that I don't have a fair-weather friend in Jesus, that he's with me all along the way even those times when I'm not pleased with them because I don't understand what's going on. So for my friend Kirk, I love you. For those people that are going through difficulties, you have my heart, you have my prayers. And more than that, you have the foundation of your relationship with Jesus Christ that always carries you through. God bless you. Have a great day.